A feature has been added to the Splice video editing app for iPhone that so many of you have asked me about in previous videos, and that is the ability to independently extract audio from video and control it independently. So as you're seeing on screen right now, we've got an extracted piece of audio that extends into the clip before it and into the clip after it, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. But first, I just want to say that I do have complete overview and tutorial videos on the entire app and specifically on audio and trimming with in the app and you can find those up here in the corner right now or in the description down below if you need them but today we're just talking about extracting audio so i'm going to scroll a little bit further forward into my project here and let's do this clip right here all we have to do is touch the clip as we're familiar with you can see our controls show up let's scroll all the way to the right and we can see that we have this new extract button here at the bottom right beside delete if we press that extract button you'll see that an extracted audio piece comes up and all we have to do to control it is the same thing we're already used to with everything else within this app we touch at the beginning and we can drag it and extend it forward as long as the audio is there within the video and at the end of it, we can do the exact same thing. We can fade it out just by pressing volume. And then you can see we've got these fade icons here. This one fades in, this one fades out. And the only way to preview this is to touch off of it completely and then press play. So you might not have been able to tell exactly what was going on here, so I'm gonna give you a perfect illustration of it by using the last clip. So let's extract the audio here and press volume, then touch the fade on the right side because that is the end. And now let's play it. So as you saw, it faded out, or as you heard, it faded out. So now the question comes, what happens if we delete this? We don't get any audio. We lose our audio, so now what happens? We don't have our audio there anymore. All we have to do to bring it back is press extract again and the exact portion of audio shows back up and is there to edit again. So this is an amazing feature that they've added in here. And as you can see, we've got all these different extracted audio pieces. All you have to do to bring them up is touch the little icon at the bottom and you can have as many as you want. Real quick to add in here, first of all, if you take a look at this bottom row of icons with the extracted audio selected, you'll see that we have all of the exact same controls over this piece of audio as we do over every single other audio element within this app. Second of all, if we select the end of the audio and we extend it past the end of our video, you'll see that we can do that. We can extend the audio past the end of our video and that brings up something that I wanted to add in here as a bonus for some of you guys who asked me about this and that is to show you guys how to add a fade to black at the beginning and end of the video so all we have to do to fade to black at the beginning or end is click off add a title and you can see that it brings up this title here at the end all we have to do to get a fade to black is touch the text element delete it that gives us a piece of black video we make this as long as we want it and then we touch the transition icon between that piece of black video and our last or first clip and we touch crossfade. And when we play it here, you can see we have a fade to black. Now let's click off of here. Let's touch our extracted audio, touch volume, give it a fade and see what it sounds and looks like. Very nice. We have a fade to black and our audio fades out after the video fades to black. So as you saw earlier, we can do this with any portion of audio. We can extract it into the clips before and after and fade them out. So that gives us a whole new element of control to our videos and a whole new element of production value because it's not just an audio cutting to the next piece. This is amazing and I'm so glad that they added it and this just shows that the developers of Splice are listening to your feedback and the features that you guys want and I have had extensive conversations with them and I can promise you that amazing features are coming in the future. So if you haven't yet already, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. I know this is mainly a BMX channel, but every single time an update comes out for Splice like this, I cover it. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss these updates and tutorials on how to actually use the new features, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And who knows, maybe you'll find something new that you didn't.
didn't know you were interested in. That being said, I want to thank you guys for being here and watching. I hope that this helps you out, and I hope that you guys are excited for all of the new features coming soon, including this extracted audio feature that is amazing. Thank you guys again for watching, and goodbye.